Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about an introduction to spectrophotometer. In this present video, we are going to discuss the following contents. First, an introduction about spectrophotometer, followed by principle of spectrophotometer, instrumentation of spectrophotometer, and finally, working mechanism of spectrophotometer. Spectrophotometer. A spectrophotometer is a laboratory instrument that measures the amount of light absorbed by a sample and is used to determine the properties such as concentration or absorption patterns of substances. Spectrophotometer technique are mostly used to measure the concentration of solutes in solution by measuring the amount of the light that is absorbed by the solution in a cuvette which is placed in the spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer generally consists of two different devices. One is spectrometer and another one is photometer. The spectrometer emits light of the desired wavelength and the photometer detects the amount of light absorbed by the solution. History of spectrophotometer. Scientist Arnold J. Beckman and its colleagues at the National Technologies Laboratory invented the first Batman DU spectrophotometer in the year 1940. Principle of spectrophotometer. A spectrophotometer is based on the beer lamberts law, which states that absorbance of the solution has a linear relationship with the length of light and the concentration of a sample. Mathematically, it can be represented as A equal to epsilon CL where A is absorbance and epsilon represents the molar absorptivity that is a constant characteristic of a substance and C represents the concentration of the absorbing species and L represents the path length of the light through the solution. The spectrophotometer technique is to measure light intensity as a function of wavelength. It does this by diffracting the light beam into a spectrum of wavelength in a prism or grating and detecting the intensities with a charge coupled device and displaying the results as a graph on the detector and then on the display device. The spectrophotometer is useful for measuring the absorption spectrum of a compound that is the absorption of light by a solution at each wavelength. Instrumentation of spectrophotometer. The instrument spectrophotometer contains the following parts. It includes light source, monochromator, sample holder or cuvette, detector, reference beam, wavelength selector, beam splitter, electronic display and data processing, chopper, and finally control system. Light source. The light source provides the electromagnetic radiation which is needed for measurement. The light source emits a broad spectrum of light which will be narrowed down to a specific wavelength for the analysis. Four types of light sources are available. They are tungsten lamp, deuterium lamp, xenon lamp and infrared lamp. The tungsten lamp is used for visible light uh, that is 400 to 700 nanometer. The deuterium lamp is used for ultraviolet light from 190 to 400 nanometer. Xenon lamp used for both UV and visible ranges and infrared lamp used for infrared spectrophotometers. Monochromator. The monochromator selects and isolates a specific wavelength of light from the light source. The monochromator ensures that only light of particular wavelength or narrow band of wavelength reaches the sample. Two components are present in monochromator. They are prism and diffraction grating. The prism disperses light into its component wavelength by refraction. And second, the diffraction grating is more commonly used. It separates light based on its wavelength by interference patterns. Sample holder or cuvette. 
The cubit holds the sample to be analyzed. The path length, typically 1 cm is the distance. The light travels through the sample and is critical parameters in the Beer-Lambert's law. The material of the cuvette depends on the wavelength range used. Uh, three types of materials are used. One is glass, second one is quartz, and third one is plastic. The glass cuvette is used for visible light measurements, and the quartz cuvette is used for UV measurements as glass absorbs UV light, and the plastic sometimes used for visible light measurements. Detector. The detector measures the intensity of light after it passes through the sample and converts it into an electrical signal. Three types of detectors are used. They are photodiode, photomultiplier tube, and charge couple device. The photodiode detector is common in modern instruments for measuring the light intensity. The photomultiplier tube is very sensitive and used in high precision instruments. The charge couple device can measure light at multiple wavelengths simultaneously. Reference beam. The reference beam is present in the double beam system. The reference beam compares the intensity of light passing through the sample with a reference to improve its accuracy. The reference beam is split into two parts, one through the sample and the other through a reference cuvette, usually containing a blank. Wavelength selector. The wavelength selector selects the desired wavelength of light to be directed at the sample. The filter of wavelength selector used in simpler spectrometers to limit wavelengths. The diffraction grating of wavelength selector provides high resolution by splitting light into a spectrum and allowing finer control over the wavelength. Beam splitter. The beam splitter is present in double beam spectrophotometers. The beam splitter divides the light into two beams, one for the sample and the other for the reference, allowing real-time comparison of light intensities. Electronic display and data processing. Electronic display converts the signal from the detector into a readable format, displaying absorbance or transmittance values. Modern instruments include software for data analysis and storage, and two types of electronic display are widely used. They are analog or digital readouts and computer interfacing for advanced processing and automation. Chopper. Chopper is present in the double beam system. Chopper is a rotating disc that alternates between the sample and reference beams to reduce noise and enhance measurement accuracy. And finally, control system. The control system governs the operation of the instrument, including setting the wavelength, reading data from the detector, and interfacing with external systems like computers or printers. Modern spectrophotometers often feature automated systems which are controlled via software for precise measurement and efficient workflow. Working mechanism of spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer should be turned on 10 to 15 minutes before use. The light source emits a spectrum of light and the monochromator selects a specific wavelength. The selected light passes through the sample cell and the detector measures the intensity of the transmitted light. Finally, the readout system displays the absorbance or the transmittance value. Dear viewers, that's all about an introduction to spectrophotometer. Thank you for your support. Thank you.